Okay, so we've got a big problem here. Look at all this algae. The water's just dead green. It's just, ugh, icky, icky. So, um, here's what's going on. My UV lamp used to sit right inside this tubing. It used to thread on with this and the lamp used to go right on top of that, right inside that, that housing, the piping, so to speak. So anyways, um, not too long ago, not, to, not too long after I installed everything, it actually burnt out. Um, don't know, didn't know why it burnt out, but um, it's a really expensive, you know, um, UV system. Um, this UV light is like, I think it retails for 450 it's like two hundred dollars for the for the um, ballast, and then like two hundred dollars for the bulb. So, um, <clears throat> from what I've heard, the Savio brand has got the brightest bulb out there, and um, they've been using this, you know, professionally for a long time. Um, now, my old set comes in a housing like this. Okay, so. This system, this system is actually set up so that it works with their um, their skimmer box. So what happens is this whole assembly goes together like this, okay? And then the UV lamp goes in like this, you follow me? Okay? And then there you have the UV lamp and this actually goes in their skimmer like that with the UV pointed down inside the skimmer box. Um, how I have my system set up is a little bit different. So what I've opted to do is, um, well, previously here, let me show you this. Initially, how I had it set up, where did it go? Okay. Um, I may have thrown it down in here somewhere. Oh man. Did I misplace it? Or did I throw it somewhere? There's a lot of junk here, as you can see. This is not the area that I am the most proud of about. Okay, so let me see if I can find this little piece that I was talking about. Mm, I cannot. Okay, so it looked like this, all right? Fudge. I really can't find it. Oh well, it is what it is. So before how I had it set up was the UV lamp would be in here like this. Follow me now? And then this would screw into my piping with the UV lamp inside it. Um, this UV lamp, we picked this one in particular because this has got a plastic cover around it. And this lamp is actually submersible. Other UV lamps, you have to use um, a quartz sleeve or whatnot to get that done. Now, we had it glued into place with this. This is RTV 108, okay? This is um, the stuff they make aquariums with, okay? It's really strong. It's actually adhesive uh, silicone rather than just silicone fill. So, um, so now what I've opted to do is um, I've decided to modify this system just a, quite, just, a, just a bit. And how I decided, how I'm going to do that is, oh man, I got to get this off with one hand, really. Okay, excuse me for one second. I got to put the phone down one quick second here. Sorry guys, I'm not even talking to you. You guys are all just blank staring. My bad about that. Okay. Um, so, okay. So let me explain. <laughs> Sorry, welcome back. So this is a little piece that I found inside of this. This actually holds everything watertight. So this actually gets fitted onto the collar 
of the bulb where it doesn't, you know, doesn't do anything, it doesn't get hot. What happened to the last one was I had this and fit it onto here like so with, with the silicone in between it and all the way inside. Well, there was a, a void that I missed. After I cut it up, I realized there was a void right next to the bulb area here. And, I, and I'm thinking, you know, well, there could be two possibilities. I, I did discover a small hole up here and a big crack inside the sleeve that I think that is was contributed to um, perhaps heat building up inside inside the little um, little bubble of air surrounded in silicone, maybe. I'm just guessing. Um, so this time, I'm just going to avoid the whole, whole drama of doing that and uh, having any of this part, any of the glass part, any of the bulb part covered in silicone. And I couldn't do that with this because, you see, the sizing is not really optimal. I guess you could just silicone it inside there and whatnot. But I've decided to make this a little bit easier on myself when, my, when I replace bulbs. Um, I don't have to yank the whole thing off and cut it open and, or rebuild it or whatever. Um, because they gave, they have this collar, I've decided that I'm going to build this collar into this. Okay, so the bulb gets mounted to that and it goes, stretches all the way down. Now, well, actually, I want it to go in this way, but the problem is the, the, the wing on here is a little bit too large to fit inside. So what I've gone ahead and done is... I, you know, because they replaced it, instead of sending me just the bulb, they sent me the whole new box with a new transformer and because maybe they thought my old transformer was bad or something like that, um, which is a possibility too. So anyway, I went ahead and took it onto the belt, my, my belt grinder, belt sander, and I ground off the tabs, you know, pretty much in a circle, circular pattern so that this now fits inside of here. Like so. And then once this gets fitted inside here, I mean, not like that. It goes in like this. Yeah. Okay. So now once this gets fitted inside here, we can silicone the metal parts into, onto the, um, onto the, onto the PVC. So then next time when I come back here, all I have to do is just unscrew this pop the bulb out together and then place it back in, place a new bulb in and then just tighten this down to make it watertight. So, um, yeah, this is, uh, the best solution I can come up with. And, um, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. It's a good idea, I think. So, um, I'll give, I'll post a second video of this, um, when I'm done with the build, when, when I'm done with the new build and then, um, we'll see how that runs. And then we'll do also do a, um, update video on, um, how long it took to, uh, clear up the pond on a 55 watt Savio uh, engineering UV clarifier. All right, thanks.